So question is in this time. So overall, again, what I shared from Luke 12, just to explain it a little bit more, there is war going on in heaven right now. You know, the, the physical planes, there are wars that are caused, but people are really worrying over the Savior about really about rights, about rights to the Savior, because there are a lot of treasures being stored up in the higher heavens. Let's put it that way. Internally, externally, I'm saying that Races, different beings are fighting really over what the Savior said, what he meant. Uh, but but internally, we should already kind of know what it means. It, it's, the, it's the things you store inside. It's the things that are stored even above your head. That those are where your treasures are. That's the treasures of your heart. But often, even it could be if you love someone so much, you would suffer pain for them. The stripes on your back. You know, that's what it means. He suffered those stripes on your back, on his back for you. The stripes on his back. And it's symbolic because if you're willing to go through the pains for somebody else that you love, that, 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 that those meanings of love are like, they're the perfect, uh, they're the perfect symbol, like symbolism for what he's done. So, again, I know, spread the rod, spoil the child, but I'm saying, I'm going to share maybe some of the more brutal things that Yeshua had said because he's, I mean, really, he was so, he was so interesting because it was, he saw through all seven eyes of God. He saw the justice and unjustness. He saw, he saw everything. And he said, anyway, I'm going to take the stripes on my back for these people because they deserve this punishment. They deserve, he deserved to be crucified, all that stuff. So he rides the white horse. Don't fight the guy who rides the white horse. He'll kill everybody. <laughs> like he, he is the word of God. He's the sword. I'm telling you, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna get everybody. So even the people who ride the red horse, like myself, war. You know, we're talking about people from from different countries, different planets. You know, all the way from the Biru to Egypt to Cairo. I mean, all the other stuff. Like we're talking about that war. But if you ride the white horse, the sword, the word. I mean. That's always going to win every time. Um, so yeah, don't fight the white horse. But, you know, the black horse, the pale horse, pretty much he defeats us all in the end. So again, what I'm talking about, the war, it won't last forever. The word of God will always remain the same. Even though people could put meaning to it, a different translation to it, the word of God can still remain the same. Like, people were selling indulgences, things like that. Uh... I mean, based off this word, a lot of exploitation of women and children, slavery, I mean, I mean, justification of a lot of genocide, I mean, in that book, but they misused it. And let's just say the four horsemen of the apocalypse came in all those situations to make sure that wouldn't, that wouldn't last. And we're going to do the same thing here because and there's been a few injustices, uh, uh, the above and the below. I mean, there's pretty much those types of things. So the way he did it that cross again we're looking at that as even not only a, a torture method but also was a symbol as well a spiritual symbol anyways uh, internally and externally uh, but it's that it's the willing to go through the pain for somebody you love that's what I need to see out of some Christians because you're like oh I'm afraid to you know suffer things like that that's true but I tell you what some of y'all people if you realize that the love the treasure of love that's the reward he went through the punishment because the love is the reward you're going you're going to be a different person you're going to be a different person so again there is war out in heaven Lucifer fighting Michael pretty much Michael is our, our best angel I mean pretty much you, you look at again it is connected to the stars you look at Mercury and Venus those two different types of energies like those are like really clashing because Venus is again is a very illusory energy. There's a lot of illusion with that, but uh, Mercury and a lot of good feelings with Venus again. But I'm saying a lot of deception is through that that uh, that planet. I want to say, but Mercury again was more of the intellectual side, I'll tell you more of the truth. But besides the stars, besides the stars, we're talking about. That's the suffering that Christ went through. He took those stripes on his back. But still, it still applies because I'm, I'm, I'm one of the watching, one of the people like watching for the Son of Man. You know? So the Son of Man is as, as a person who had wielded the seven eyes to perfection. Or, or for the most part, was able to fight the sin to perfection. He was able to fight the sin in a human form. 
uh, to take on these uh, wickedness in high places. So we're waiting for the Son of Man, but the sons of God, uh, nature is waiting for them to reveal themselves. I mean, that's the rocks cry out, so the walls cry out. I mean, walls are getting more justice than our people all of a sudden. Like, uh, you know, I got I got to be honest for a second because, look, people shoot a, one of my people, you know what I'm saying? We're on the tailor. In our sleep, you, you look at the walls. Walls get more justice, apparently. So this is the times we're living in. These are spiritual attacks on God's people. So we're going we're gonna to have to look at you like, oh, there's no justification for that. None. So for the most part, I want people to keep in mind about the coming of the Lord. Because it's going to be very serious. Very serious thing. And again, if you love yourself, why don't you love Him? I mean... Someone's going to protect you from that, but I'm, I'm saying there are people that are going to be over you. It's, it's sort of like that's the thing. It's the, the loyalty to a fault, basically. You will have to take some stripes if you are really loyal. Again, pretty much everybody does, but I'm saying the uh, uh, Enoch known as Metatron, basically the closest to him, took some stripes. I mean, the basically, uh, it's going to be a symbol, but the point of it all is it's next level like overall like if you're living the life uh yeah he's like i i can i can honestly say i i might take some stripes for you people some of you people but for the most part again i love you unconditionally i literally love you unconditionally so if if you take what i say to heart for the most part again the world has a lot of suffering a lot of pain so it's the, the things that you're able to sustain. Sustain those things. We don't know what I'm saying. Those relationships. Sustain the world as it is today. Because you were given stewardship over it. You're being made a king, queen. You're being made those princes because this is what molds you into becoming the being that you were created to be in your DNA. So all kinds of things, again, in your DNA, in your bloodline. You know that? Created in his image or in our image basically in their likeness. I want to use the plural because it is in a way we're created of the image of the sons of God. That's one of the things some of you again. But it's in your DNA again. Uh, we can go more into detail about that later in the week. I think on Tuesday I'm, I'll, I'll probably just talk about uh, um, Maybe something light. All right, we'll have a poll. I could go more into depth on the sons of God, or I could just talk about relationships, or something along that nature. One of the two. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. On Tuesday, I'm going to talk about relationships. Thursday, I'm going to talk about the sons of God. Because, again, some of you are going to be ready for war. You know, I ride the red horse, you know. I'm ready for war. But again, he's going to clean my garments as well. We're, we're, not, we're not fighting against flesh and blood again. We're fighting against these uh, supernatural forces in high places for the most part. We are supernatural. <laughs> we are supernatural. And uh, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. We're in a beautiful season. So everybody, take care.